The India series panned out how it did. I thought at some stage there that they were going to get beaten by an innings and 800, but it, it turned out to be an innings and 64, a great disparity between the two sides. And the further it went, the further the gap between the two sides yeah. became apparent. Brennan McCullum, when you're exposed the way we have been in the back end of the series in particular, it does require some pretty deep thinking and some adjustment to make sure we're staying true to what we believe in. They probably outplayed us at the style of cricket that we want to play and made us start to retreat a little bit. So that's something we will have to change. I'm not sure what he's going to change. The fact that he's allowed the fact that the opposition was allowed to play their style or their style in the first place is the thing that needs changing. I think well, the former, not the yeah, latter. Yeah, well, what India did after that first test where it was a great win by England, they got England to second-guess their style. Um, and, and we've seen that as the series went on. England started to second-guess their style. There's a lot of talk uh, about the way they want to play. They had to answer a lot of questions. And, and by the back end, and, and what Brendan McCullum's saying there, and he's always been really clear hmm. um, on, no, no, this is the way we're going to play. Um, I'll, I'll stick by you. Um, but this is a style we're, we're going to play because I, I think this will be successful long periods. And the one thing India did really, really well, and it's hard to win there. Um, we, we've all been there and been dominated and we have all great plans as we walk through, <laughs> um, walk through the ground and, and we all walk out with a tail between our legs. So <laughs> 17 test series yeah. in a row says something. Well, and, and I think what he's trying to say there is we just second guess our style a little bit. Mm. And, and that's not from me. I, I haven't changed my wording. It's just the pressure of test cricket. And, and that's not just on the field. It's the media and everything that comes around performance. And that's what I think Brendan McCullen will be most disappointed about. So the Joe Root discussion mid-series uh, about how he was playing and how he was going about it, that ridiculous yeah. dismissal. It's interesting. There was an article done in the Times that looked at England's run rate before that. It was in the mid-fours. Yeah. And below that, it nearly dropped nearly a run. After that discussion and Joe Root copped it because it was like, he was like a middle-aged bloke being accused of what the hell are you doing wearing those skinny jeans? Wear chinos, Joe. That's you. That, that's you. Don't, <laughs> don't wear, don't wear something that the kids are wearing down the skate park, brother. Just get back to who you are. And he kind of did, but it didn't change anything really, did it? I mean, Joe Root went out that next knock after copping all that criticism, played like traditional Joe Root, got a ton but it didn't change anything in terms of the result. So that's the confusion that they find themselves in a bit, England, with their style and what they want it to be and what they want it to look like. Yeah, well... Or is it India? It's because India. it's India away, yeah. doesn't matter. It, it, India can do that to you. You, okay. you can go over there with the, the world's best plans. We're going to play three fast bowls. We're going to use reverse. And by the second <laughs> test, you've got one quick and three spinners. Yeah, it, opening the bowling. Yeah, yeah. It, it, can, it can make you second guess. Um, what your strengths are. And that's what Brendan McCullen's trying to do. I, I thought Joe Root, um, the, the reason he got so much um, talk about in that, that first three test matches, he was given oppositions a chance. Yeah. He, he's too good a player. Yeah. We, we've seen in the 100. He's one of the, um, the the best players to spin in the world. And we've seen that when he got the 100 in the, in the third test. Mm. Um, he, he controlled the tempo. He still scored fast enough, but he put a high price on his wicket. And, and I think that's the one thing people were disappointed in saying, mate, you're a better player than that. Some mm. others at the top order aren't. They, they've got to play a certain style to, to put pressure back on. But, but Joe Root trusts his technique. He trusts his defense. And, and, and that was the one thing I, I think people were most disappointed that Joe was selling himself a bit short. I'll be, I'll be fascinated to see. Uh, how they bounce back. They've got a summer where they host the West Indies in some test matches and then Sri Lanka. So on face value, that's if they get beaten in two of those tests, that's what the hell's happening here. Oh, I think they'll dominate those two. Dominate those yeah. two. And, and, I, and I think you'll see um, the same as we've seen through the, the same ashes. personnel. Uh, would I, you I, say? Does Bearstow survive? Oh, that'll be an interesting one because you've got Harry Brook. Um, yeah. he, he walked straight back in the team. He, he was one player you would have liked to see. Um, in this Indian series because you, you know um, the class he has. So mate, they'll, they'll have a look at all, all that, but they'll, they'll go back. They'll be really, really clear. And, and I imagine Baz will be on, no, no, this is a style that we're going to use to take forward. We had a little bit of a hiccup, and but that's happened to every team to, to go to India. But expect an ultra-aggressive Indian team yeah. this summer because that's the way they want to play when they come back for the Ashes in a couple of years. Ben Stokes, 10 innings, average of... 20, his last 10 innings, out of Nick, or has the captaincy got to him a little bit? Because yeah. his average, his batting average has actually improved over the course yep. of being captain. 
but oh, oh sorry, it's it, sorry, it's lost a run, but it's not fallen off a cliff, but it's really fallen off a cliff these last ten. Well, I, I think it has. I, I think captaincy w- would be a burden, um, sp- especially over there. Um, it, he's. It, it'll be interesting to see how fit he is actually as well. Um, Did he start at the bowl again? Well, he, he bowled in that last test. He, he got a wicket as soon as he came back on. But I wonder how much that was hindering him with his batting. Um, and, and that might have been a subconscious thing. He, he'd been out for some time. But, yeah, well, he's got to, he's, he's got to cop the uh, brunt of what's going on, doesn't he? he? He's the captain of the team. They've, they've made some really interesting statements about the way they want to play. And he's really clear with them on this is a style we want to play. This is how we are going to be successful. And the last couple of tests, they, they doubted that. So he's got to find a way to say, okay, why, why has my messaging changed? Yeah. Um, what, was it pressure? Um, was it just India were too good? So they're the questions they've got to go back and answer now. Yeah. Mm. You're taking Ben Stokes or Pat Cummins if you were forced to select one. Oh, next. <laughs> Come oh, easy. <laughs> As a bat? Oh, under pressure. <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> at the moment. Or... You were there at Headingley, weren't you? You'll get reminded of that if you could, if you said yeah. that in front of an English. Well, we're not saying Ben Stokes is not a good player. Yeah, mate, he's uh, he's, he's got a great record against us. But uh, mate, Aussie Pat, is James Anderson going to play two hundred tests? Mate, I tell you what, he's only got what thirteen more to go. It's seven. not as if his body's falling apart, is it? No. He's a freak of an athlete. Well, well, I I, I don't see a finish line. No, he's um, well, he's he'll he have got, fun in the summer coming for them. Well, especially against Sri Lanka in the West Indies, he'll uh, cause havoc. Again, it, it'll be interesting. It was interesting to see he's taken his first wicket to his um, seven hundred. I, th- I think it was twenty-one years. Uh, so yeah, mate, it's, it's a re- people who have finished university oh, in between that time. Mate, he's uh, he's a remarkable athlete. I I can't understand the the will to keep warming up, just keep <laughs> warming up, backing up time after time. Have you had any good battles with? Jimmy Anderson, a Great. bit of uh, yep. bit of chatter out yeah. there in the middle. Yeah, he was, was tough. Like? I remember facing a spell um, in 2009-10 with with Huss um, at the Gabba, mm. um, where Anderson and Broad were on. And I remember talking to David Sakert after after the match, and he said, "How did you find that first session?" I said, "I couldn't score." And they went off, so we didn't lose a wicket, mm. but we we couldn't get Anderson and Broad away. And he said, when he was chatting to the bowlers, he goes, Mate, "That was outstanding." Mm. It was just that they had the ball swinging early doors. Um, him and Anderson and Broad together um, were a tough act. So who was the better at reminding you that you, in fact, should have hit the ball, but you didn't because oh, Anderson. you played in it? Yeah? yeah. Yeah. He was more talkative. Yeah. See, I'd get it as Stuart Broad because he's the more gregarious of the, the two and nah. likes a microphone more. But nah. Jimmy, Jimmy, what did he say? What would he Couldn't say? understand him. His accent was too strong. <laughs> He's more <laughs> <an> accent. <laughs> but it was something starting with F and ending with in. I, I could not understand the word he said. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, for India, we've got to mention India. Joe Swall, yep. he, was a, he was a real find. Yep. And obviously his reputation was bubbling along there in India. But this is the breakout. Uh, 712 runs at 89. 26 sixes, if you don't mind. Yeah. Uh, how do you reckon he goes out here, though, on a bounce of your decks? Mate, I, I, it's interesting we talk about um, the Indian team because they're in a rebuilding phase as well. They, they, yeah, they won t- four round one without Kohli. Without Kohli. Yeah. Um, Cahill Rahul, he, yep. he didn't play. Boomer missed a test match. Shemi's not there. Hmm. Um, so they're, they're, they're in a rebuilding phase and, and still they had to come from behind in the series. So, mate, I, I think they're... Um, they're building for this five tests. This is going to be huge. Five tests in Australia. Mm. Um, they've got some depth now. Um, mate, even cool deep. He, he was outstanding. The um, the left arm wrist spinner as well. He he gave him a... Ashwin, 26 wickets yeah. for the series as well. And he keeps on keeping on. He's probably their number one for these conditions when we see it. I know it's six months away. We're going to talk about it a lot. But we're only talking it with recency bias because of the England series. Oh, but... I, I, I don't know. Yeah. I, I, I don't know there. Like you've got cool deep, you've got 19 wickets in four matches. Um, mm. If you've got Jadeja, do, do you not play an, an Ashwin for for example? I, I know it's unheard of, but yep. it, it might, it might, you might want something different. So three quicks and then put Jadeja in as the Jadeja and, and you've got cool deep d- depending yep. on, but Ashwin will be there and thereabouts. And, and you know, mm. 
he, he loves it against us, so he he grows. But they're in a rebuilding phase as well, so well led by Rot Sharma. I've got them as favourites next summer. No way. Why? No. You serious? Yep. Why have you got us as mate, favourites in that, mate? Because it's our home condition. So mm. I, I think, I, I think our guys are going to be primed for it. I, I think it's going to be um, might be the last time we see a, a few of our players. Um, and and, and India, what team they're going to bring? Mm. Uh, are they going to bring this young team? Um, a, a Coley and Cahill role going to be um, around? If if not, your first tour out to Australia for, for the young batters with the bounce is different. Mm. No, I've got them as favourites. I know you think that uh, I'm mad, and uh, I'll just write that down. Just deserve to not have a Australian citizenship like anymore. But uh, anyway.